Bubby, you're in for a ride of your life. Ooh, I forgot this animation gets scarier. I really thought this was just a comedy. <laughs> Yo, what's up guys, Prince Charming. We are gonna be checking out animations that are funny and then they get scary and then they're funny, and then they get scary and then they're funny, scary, scary, funny, funny, scary, scary, funny, 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 scary, okay. <laughs> no, but these are called Happy Tree Friends and we're watching Remains to be Seen and Blind Day. And basically these are animations that you would think it's like a kid's show, a kid's cartoon, but they take it a step, a step up or a step notch up power to 10 degrees you know what i'm trying to say it's not your average cartoon it's not your average animation but there's still a plot to it there's still some lesson at the end of the day it's just not it's not just mindless <laughs> animals just with each other no no that's very much plot and we're gonna see today these animations that are scary and then funny and then scary and then funny and then i can go on and on don't forget to hit me the like subscribe and go ahead and comment something you were afraid of but it doesn't really bother you anymore like you're not afraid of it anymore i used to be afraid of the dark when I was a kid, I used to have a nightlight and everything. But now, bro, I cannot fall asleep unless it's total darkness. Like, I am not afraid of the dark. My apartment will be completely dark. My room will be completely dark. I will be fine. Like, trust me, I'm living in my moment. Ooh, that sounds kind of dark. <laughs> but enough of me talking. Let's go ahead and check out the animations that get funny and then scary and then funny and then scary, also known as Happy Tree Friends. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Okay, remains to be seen. So is this a Halloween themed episode? Was this spookiness? Ooh, let's get into it. I'm guessing this is like Halloween. They have their co little costumes on. And a batch of radioactive acid ready to give anybody superhero powers. You know, I need a little batch like that in my life. <laughs> Wait, what happened? Did he turn radioactive? And he's gonna run them up. Oh. No! They were just trying to have a nice trick-or-treating session. Why would you do that to them? Oh, and the moose has to bury them all. Poor moose. Mm -hmm. He don't even look like hey. he care. <laughs> mm. Bruh. Oh. <laughs> oh gosh. I remember one of my biggest fears is like the thought of being buried alive. Like, I know that's probably not going to happen, but that used to be one of my biggest fears. It didn't really help when I used to watch A, a Thousand Ways to Die. That didn't really help all of my anxiety and paranoia because there was like an episode where somebody was buried alive. And then also the movie trapped or like something you know the movie i'm talking about where dude gets kidnapped he's put into a coffin that's underground filling with sand or whatnot so he's going to suffocate like who wants that to happen to them so y'all gonna have to like make sure really make sure i'm really out cold or something or i'm really dead because if i'm just sick or if i'm just knocked out i don't want to be buried alive you better work faster moose it looks like you got him buried nice and good So this is like Night of the Living Dead, bro. If you do not hightail it out of there, <laughs> okay, that's that's one way to do it. That's very efficient, Mr. Moose Man. I gotta give you credit for that. Is it too jammed up? Oh, he grabbed it. He said, "No, sir." Now you're infected. No, you were so close to killing them all. So he's just taking body parts now. Okay, you kind of look fresh with the little suspender guts you have going there. Get the chainsaw. Oh, he's building these weapons. Oh, come on. Elite blower. 
out of all weapons for you to craft, like it's left for dead, you build a leaf blower. Not even a highly efficient one. Not even one that's gonna knock me off my feet. I don't know, bro. It's much easier said than done surviving the zombie apocalypse because that fast thinking he did in the beginning where he was just mowing over them, that's pretty efficient. It was just, he, he forgot about this one. And this one looked like he was in a couple of battles. He looks like a veteran, so he's not gonna let loose easily. So if the zombie apocalypse ever happens, I need one of you subscribers to come find me and protect me. Cause I probably won't do so well by myself. You know, I will have little issues here and there. Ooh. Oh, the leaf blower actually worked. He actually did it. Jeez. Okay. Don't mess with the moose man, bro. He needs business. And it exploded all of them. Congratulations. And it buried them all. He did that. What did he do? That. What was done? That was done. <laughs> oh, his wait, what? His His hand was a zombie? Okay. <laughs> so at the end he actually, you know, he actually successfully put them all back down underneath, underneath the ground. I'm pretty sure he blew up a lot of them as well, so that was a job well done. Look at me just talking mess about his leaf blower and then he just executed a plan like that. Even though it wasn't planned out, it still followed through. So you gotta give him credit. Mr. Moose Man, you deserve to survive the apocalypse. Me, I would have probably grabbed like um, a, a raking hose <laughs> and just try to beat them with it and I would easily get overpowered. I need to start thinking of escape routes when a zombie apocalypse happens, because you never know, it could happen tomorrow. This one is called Blind Date. So his name is Lumpy Giggles the Mole. And there's more characters to it, clearly. So my man Lumpy, my man Lumpy. I, I kind of miss a Lumpy. So I'm guessing he's blind and he just tried to shave himself. Blind people should not be driving cars. What are you doing on the road, sir? <laughs> Did you successfully get to your destination? Is this where you needed to be? This man playing Bird Box too seriously. <laughs> okay, that's not funny. <laughs> What's wrong, Giggles? You need a little lumpy in your life? He's trying to go to her house. And this man Lumpy going on the date, bro. Oh my goodness, Lumpy. <laughs> you the ultimate finesser. <laughs> he was trying to go to her house and he showed up at Lumpy's house instead. Lumpy, you're in for a ride of your life. Ooh, I forgot this animation gets scarier. I really thought this was just a comedy. <laughs> And he knows nothing that is going on. You feel like you in a drop top? A drop top? <laughs> oh, and then he actually made it to the drive-in. This is a cute day. Look at this. You gotta give my man Mold credit for a little bit because he showed up to her house or what he thought was her house to give her chocolates to drive her to this this drive-in movie and that's that's very unique because not much people do it now much people just go to a movie theater but going to a drive-up movie where you can have your own popcorn your own snacks in the privacy of your own car you know shit may be going down it's much easier to get a <laughs> a job done <laughs> in your own car than in the public movie theater where they have night vision lights and shit yeah you're gonna get caught don't think you can do it this is not a teen's drama <laughs> Bruh, this man brain completely out. Is no one, nobody ever gonna mention this? <laughs> he really thinks he's on a perfect date right now. Ugh, is that musty coming out? I 
I don't know how he's able. Ooh, poor Lumpy. It's glad to know that they all like come back to life after each animation. No, don't tell me. Don't. Okay, I was gonna say if he's getting it on with the corpse. The corpse. <laughs> oh. She don't like your moves, my dude. She don't like your moves. She want different moves. She brought Mace to the date. That's how you know she was never feeling you. <laughs> this man Mole is just causing havoc everywhere he goes. How do you not smell that? She, she, she said take it slow. She eating all the ice cream because she's sad. Oh, poor girl. And then he left. He wait. He dropped her back home. Okay. <laughs> that was it for this video, guys. And I hope you enjoyed it. So there you have it. Happy tree friends in this blind date, bro. This whole time he really thought he was with Giggles. He really thought he was with his girl Giggles. I don't know if he's ever gonna figure it out. She went through all that ice cream, thinking that the man Mole didn't like her. She thought she was fat. She thought she was ugly. She thought that he wanted a, a more uh, flexible girl. Okay, if you know what I mean. But it was really he thought he was on the date with her, but he picked up Lumpy instead. And Lumpy's dumbass went ahead and went with him because you know free chocolates were involved. So why would Lumpy say no? But don't forget to hit me the like. Subscribe and comment on this video if you want to reply from your Chewy, Prince Charming. My name is Prince of Hawk and stay charming, my friends.